वेलकम टू द सीरीज ऑन बेस्ट ऑफ आई पी एम माई नेम इज जयमिन शाह एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम आई पी मै टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन क्यू ए एम सी क्यू सेक्शन पॉज द वीडियो सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन एंड देन कम बैक फॉर द सोल्यूशन ओके सो यू कैन सॉल्व वी कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन बाय यू नो सॉल्विंग द ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक वे बट द बेस्ट अप्रोच टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इन एन एग्जाम वुड बी by assuming the value so when can cos x plus cos y is equal to 0 if i say cos i mean x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 90 or vice versa right in that case sin x and sin y i mean so if i x if i say x is equal to 0 right sin x will be 0 so if i say sin x minus sin y So sine x will be zero, and this will be minus one. So I get this as minus one. And if I put x as ninety and y as zero, I get this as one minus zero. That is one. So I get a range from minus one to plus one. But is that my answer? Is that my answer? Because there is a range. There is an option which is, you know, uh, which is the superset of minus, which is superset of this, and there is also another range, right? so i cannot say it from minus 1 to plus 1 it may be but not sure let's think of the ways to get cos x plus cos y as plus 1 uh so i can say that a uh, cos of something plus cos of something is 1 so if both of them is equal to half then can then it can also be equal to 1 so when can it be equal to half so in that case cos has to be 60 degree i mean cos cos x and sin x has to be 60 degree right but if i say sin x so that will be root 3 by 2 and minus root 3 by 2 that will be 0 what if i say that this is minus 60 what if i say this is minus 60 because cos of minus 60 is equal to cos of 60 but sin of minus 60 is minus of sin of 60 in that case it becomes plus so this can be equal to root 3 and vice versa if i say this is minus 60 and this is plus 60 i'll get this as minus of root 3 by 2 minus root 3 by 2 and that will give me minus root 3 right so definitely this is not the answer it has to be this or the second option now for sin x minus sin y to be equal to 2 can it be equal to 2 or can it be equal to minus 2 See guys, sine of sine x and sine y can be max to max. I mean, it always between minus one to plus one. The difference of two values can never be equal to two because the maximum value that each one of them can take is two. I mean, one or minus one. For the corresponding, you know, set the values that satisfy the equation, it will never be equal to two or minus two, right? And hence, your answer option. for this particular question has to be fourth option that is minus root 3 to plus root 3 now let's see how can we solve this question mathematically and arrive at the answer hello everyone if you like our content and want to experience the ims pedagogy then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free to avail this please click on the link mentioned under the description box below happy learning so there is a a typical way to solve such question so it is given to me that cos of x plus cos of y is equal to 1 let us say that sin x minus sin y is equal to k okay now square both the equation so i will square this equation and i'll square this equation and add them why do i do that so that i can use the identity cos theta cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 so i'll get cos square x and from here i'll get plus sin square x plus i'll get 
cos square y from here i will get sin square y and from the first expression i have 2 times of cos x cos y uh, minus 2 times of sin x sin y and that is equal to 1 plus k square so this is equal to 1 this is equal to 1 right so i can cancel this value with this one so i'll be left with 1 plus this entire term now this is nothing but as 2 times of cos of x plus y that is equal to k square so k is between the negative square root that is 1 plus square root of negative square root of 1 plus 2 cos of x plus y and the positive square root that is 1 plus 2 times of cos of x plus y correct so now i want to find out what is the maximum magnitude of the expression inside the square root sign so if i say that i know that cos of 0 will be 1 so let's say that this will be 1 so what do i get minus root 3 is less than equal to k is less than equal to plus root 3 so that's the given answer that's fourth option so this is how we could have technically solved this question step by step and we would have still arrived at the correct answer now i want you to solve this replica question and tell me what is the correct answer in the comment section and we will revert to you in the comment section within 24 hours